hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's only omura again a content creator based in just Nigeria. so guys in this video i'll be showing you how to make money daily in nigeria or any country at all you're watching me from selling baby products okay how to make money daily in nigeria selling baby products so this is like an introduction to this video I said here in Nigeria, there is a huge market for the sale of baby products like baby clothes, baby shoes, toys, their pass, antenanta items, and many more. Okay, so as a matter of fact, millions of babies are born into Nigeria every year. For instance, look around you how many women have put to bed since this year began, and how many are you seeing pregnant? Okay, this will give you insight on how lucrative this business is. And most interestingly, this line of business is still not saturated for reason I can't even tell, okay? So guys, this is basically an introduction to this um, video telling you how to make money selling baby products. Like ba selling baby products is a very, very lucrative business that you can venture into and you are guaranteed to make money because as we all know, children are gifts from God. Like children are gifts from God. Sometimes you see... Um, you see some families with up to five to seven kids and they are okay with it like they are very very okay with it and it will interest you to know that these babies are given the best care they can even imagine like most of these babies okay so this is an introduction telling you how lucrative or just opening your mind to this line of business so let me go to the next slide now here i'll be telling you the step to starting a profitable baby product business in Nigeria. If you're not in Nigeria, okay, you can apply it to your own country. So these are steps to starting a profitable baby product business. Number one step is research, research, research. Okay, so guys, I'm going to, in my next slide, I'll be explaining each of them, okay? Here, I just listed the steps for you. So I'll be explaining them. The first one again is research. The second one is decide if you want to sell online or offline, okay? The third one is source for capital. Yeah, you need to source for capital if you don't have. The fourth one is locate where to buy your products. There are different ways or different places to get your products from. And then the fifth one is start selling, okay? So let me go to my next slide now, which is research, 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 okay? So then before you venture into any business for the first time, like before you venture into any business at all, it is very, very needful to do proper research on that business. Baby product business in particular is a broad business. Why I said it's a broad business is that you can decide to just niche it down to selling baby clothes. You can decide to niche it down to selling antenna um, items, okay? Or you can decide to niche it down to selling just their pass. You get me? So it's a broad business. And as a newbie, you have to do proper research on the niche or product that are always in demand and profitable that you can start with. Take, for example, um, antenna items are always in demand because if you register with a particular hospital for your antenna checkup and the rest of them, then when you are due and you're about to put to bed, there is a list of things you must buy. Things like, let's say, your the your on the towels, your pads. These are necessities. These are things you can you cannot do without. You get me. So if you know this is a particular niche that you want to f that you want to focus on, you need to do research and know if you're good with it. If you have a favorable place to set it up and to start selling. Okay. So just have it at the back of your mind that you need to do your research. Your research should also cover the amount of money needed to start up this business. In fact, walk around your neighborhood. Okay, this is practical. Walk around your neighborhood. Find stores where baby products are sold. Enter these stores and engage in conversations with the old store owner. You might be, I'm not really buying anything. Why am I entering these stores? Yeah, maybe you have friends that are already into this business. You have places where you do go to buy. Maybe as a lady... Or as a mother, you already have places where you do go to shop for your baby items. You can just visit this store once in a while. Just 
So if you see that maybe you want to buy one or two things or maybe you're not buying anything at all tell the person okay there's some see there are sincere people that are very very willing to tell you one or two things about business yeah there are if you don't want to research online you really want to do it practical which is the best for me even if you do online research come down to doing the research practical it is very very important so enter these stores engage in conversations with this with in conversation with the store owner before the end of the day you should be able to gather up some useful information that will help you okay so this step is first and it is very very important to do your research properly the next one is decide if you want to sell online or offline if you're just starting and you don't have enough capital to rent a physical shop okay you can make use of the online space to sell your products but take notes that if you're selling online you need to have a strong online presence okay and you should be ready to spare some coin to run adverts let's say for example you don't have um you don't have that much capital to go and rent a physical shop you want to really go online you want to go into the online space to sell your product number one thing is that you need to have an online presence you can just sit down and say you want to sell your product online and you are not active on facebook you're not active on instagram even your whatsapp you are not that active there you need to be active on those places very very important you need to spare some coin to run adverts see nobody will do this for you yeah you can sell just normally online organically online but if you really want to boost your sale you want to attract clients to your store to your online store you need to run ad you need to run ad on facebook target women there's one thing i love about facebook ad is that when you're running this ad it gives you opportunity to target people that you know are your audience or are your are your potential clients take for example you're selling baby products you're targeting women you're targeting ladies let's say from the and you can go ahead to choose the particular age you want you would target people from 25 to like 38 even 40 yeah so facebook ad gives you room to target your right audience so be ready to spare some coin to run your advert also as an online vendor selling baby products in order to stand out in this business okay you need to sell unique and rare baby items that are not easily found in this physical market this is period if you want to sell baby items online please and please ensure that you're selling unique products don't start selling what i can just go to the market and get then why should i <laughs> you get me why should i come online and place order with you and wait days for it to get to me i can just go to the market nearby and get that product if you know you want to go into baby clothes sell unique ones see let me tell you something you don't know women especially we love our babies to look the best this is why this line of business is very very profitable yeah mothers or women or ladies they love their babies to look cute especially during that newborn stage okay they go extra mile to buy the best for their babies so if you're selling online sell unique stuff there are some baby turbans i saw on instagram yeah like baby girl turban just some fancy i just love those products so if you want to sell online go on instagram see how other people are doing theirs just go on instagram search for baby product vendors you will see them they'll pop out for you see the kind of product they have online see the way they are arranging their stuff the way they are advertising and guys start up your own immediately because you can do it okay all i'm telling you is ensure you sell rare and items and items that are so unique this will help showcase your store and attract more customers to your online store so if you can afford to rent a shop ensure that the shop is located in a busy area areas where there are lots of women around places like markets close to a hospital 
close to parks and the rest of them so be very very strategic when picking a place let's say you have money you want to go ahead and rent a physical shop you need to be strategic don't just get a shop or anywhere you feel it's okay no be strategic because see if you get a store in an area that <laughs> there is no there is no demand for the product you're selling you're going to get stuck there yeah so ensure you are strategic in getting a nice location for your business so the next point i have here is to source for capital yeah this is very important because it determines where and how you will start this business you can start with antenna items if you have a physical shop and save towards expanding later in the nearest future you can also source for capitals from family and friends yeah you can source for capital from your family and friends or if you don't want to go that extent you can just start with simple simple stuff like if you have a physical shop that is what i said at the beginning you can start with what you have at hand let's say you have up to twenty thousand naira at hand you can start go to wholesalers you buy some antenental product you know what is needed for uh, women that are preparing to that have reached their due date the on the parts the um parts itself um what again olive oil spirit you can buy these things and take it to the hospital just go to different hospitals do on antenna days go to the visit different hospital on antenna days showcase your product i bet you women are ready to buy from you because some of them are so heavy they don't have the strength to go to the market they just want things but just to get it there and be done with it get some set of baby clothes things you know you can afford with the money you have at hand start with it start with it if you can go ahead to ask family and friends good and fine also if you can source from if you can source for loan from microfinance bank and the rest of them it's okay although i am not a fan of loan okay i'm not a fan of loan but if you know you can handle it why not go for it Go for it and start up your business. So the next point here is locate where to buy products. This is very, very important. Okay. This is very, very vital. Locate where to buy products. For a start, you can buy from wholesalers around. Yeah. If you have just something at hand, buy from wholesalers around. Major market in Nigeria where you can buy baby products at a cheaper rate for both wholesale and retail are if you're in lagos or if you even if you're not in lagos you can visit lagos yeah you can buy from lagos they have their idumata market lagos island and the rest of them you go there you see importers of baby products and you buy at a wholesale price from them also in onishama main markets you will find major importers of baby products lagos onicha these are major markets where i know for sure that you will see major importers of baby products and you buy from them at good prices maybe you just need to visit that location once you get your contacts whenever you want you contact them they will be to your um to your specific destination for you so secondly as you grow in the business you can also start importing this product yourself yes you can start importing baby products for yourself and major countries where you can import from the number one is china like most of these people you see in, uh, you see at lagos island they import these products from china then if you want some unique unique stuff again you can go ahead to turkey china turkey us uk italy and the rest of them but if you're just starting and you really want to go into importing them start from china in my subsequent video i will take you around 1688 alibaba show you some products their prices then maybe we can go ahead to compare the prices with what is sold here in nigeria so that you see if you import this product will you be making profit or is it better for you to just buy it um to just buy it locally from other importers and resell okay so it is very very important for you to locate where to buy product either you buy within or you go ahead and import if you have the capital to do so so the next point here is to start selling yeah after you have, after you must have put everything in check you have your um your capital to start with you've gone to the different market if you're buying within you've made your contacts you have some goods at hand to start with 
or if you're importing, you imported, you have things to start with. The next thing to do or the final thing to do is to start selling. Remember, you can sell online in physical shops, in hospitals, as I said earlier, you can visit hospital on antenatal and postnatal days and others. You can sell in hospitals, antenatal and postnatal days and so on. Selling baby product is very profitable business, especially here in Nigeria. Because every minute, guys, every minute from a reliable source, it's like every minute babies are born, creating opportunity to make money from this line of business. So there is no dulling at all. See, you know what's one funny thing is that this line of business is not even saturated yet. And I'm, I was thinking about it some few days ago and I was like, why? Why is it not that saturated? Maybe because people feel it's not that... Oh, I don't know. Like, I didn't even come up with something reasonable. It's profitable, number one, because you can buy something. Let's say, yeah, there are some products that have specific prices. For example, if you're selling um, diapers, if you're selling products from um, from these companies, let me take, for example, PZ, Cushions, um, Huggies, and the rest of them. If you're selling their products, most of their products have specific size, specific prices that you need to sell but if you're buying other products like baby wears like you can get a very nice baby wear let's say you bought it at 1000 naira and you can go ahead to sell it up to 5000 naira or more take for example this baby turban i saw on instagram i was talking i was telling you guys about i saw this baby turban on instagram and the lady was selling it at 2.5 yeah it was fancy it was cute but that thing she's selling at two five, it will shock you to know that she maybe she got it at the rate of one thousand naira or less, and she's making a thousand five hundred from just one single product. So there are different products you can buy and resell, and you'll be wowed with the profit you're making. That's just it. Baby product is very very lucrative. It is very very profitable. So guys, maybe in my subsequent video I'll show those of you that want to go into importing this product you can go ahead to import it i'll show you we'll compare the prices also before i end this video i am making an ebook i'm still writing it of course i'm trying to put together an ebook concerning drop shipping yeah an ebook on drop shipping where i will tell you everything you need to know about drop shipping that is local arbitrage and the rest of them explain it to you in details and then give you contacts i'm trying to gather up up to 200 contacts of different products 200 contacts locally like local contacts not importing from outside now local contacts here in nigeria 200 plus that is my target i'm working on it okay so when it's out or when it's ready i will let you know those of you that are interested in this ebook of course, you will pay a little penny for it, okay? You pay a little coin for it. When it's ready, I will let you know if you're interested, you get it. You can buy anything here. There are major importers of different products. But if you still want to go ahead and import it, it is fine. It is good. You will make profit with it. So, guys, thank you for watching this video to this point. Please ensure you give this video a thumbs up, like. Don't forget that. Share. If you're here to subscribe, like subscribe subscribe to this channel and please turn on your notification bell to get notified each time i upload videos like this so guys i'll see you in my next video bye for now